All right, so I'm going to read to you from a brilliant book by Robert Boval and uh, Charia Holsen-Zoller, which is an Italian man who lives, uh, who lives in Rome. Um, Robert Boval was the man who discovered that the pyramids in Egypt were aligned with Orion's belt back in the 90s. And nobody believed him at the time. And he was actually shunned, sort of, for his, his theory. However, now it is fact and known. All of Egyptology and modern, modern science even confirms the celestial alignments of the Great Pyramids of Giza. So Robert Baval has been on this path for a long time and has been way ahead of the curve of modern day academia, especially modern day Egyptology. So I'm going to read to you from this book one chapter and its, its impl implications are big and powerful. And uh, I think everybody in the Western world should know them. So here we go. To understand why the reformation of the calendar mattered so much to the Vatican, we must bear in mind that the Pope regarded himself as the legitimate successor of St. Peter the Apostle. And that it was quite literally on his throne that he sat, St. Peter's Basilica, which was believed to stand in the very spot St. Peter the Apostle had been buried in 69 CE. The authority of the Roman Catholic Church rested on the statement made by Jesus Christ to Simon Peter, the Apostle, so that's Peter the Apostle. You are Peter the Rock, upon this rock I will build my church. That's Matthew 16, 18. So, pausing there real quick, it's basically saying that the Vatican and the Pope believe that he himself was the legitimate successor of St. Peter the Apostle. So he's He's basically calling himself a saint and that he has the power to proclaim that sainthood for himself. Continuing on, it was Constantine the Great, the father of Catholicism, who had built the Basilica in the 4th century CE and had defined the dogmas of the canons of Roman Catholicism in 325 CE at the first Enumical Council of Nicaea. So that's the Council of Nicaea. Historical fact, you can look it up. Constantine and a, and a few very wealthy royal elite got together and decided what to canonize in the Bible. They went through hundreds of scriptures and decided what to edit in and what to leave out. And they did this for political reasons. They wanted to control the knowledge dispensed to the public. And so they did it in this way. So, why is it important that the Vatican and Christianity in general, through Constantine and the Council of Nicaea, worships and tracks the sun and other celestial bodies? Well, it says in the Bible that, that Jesus spoke to Simon Peter and said, hey, you are the, basically he said, you are the rock, and on the rock I'm going to build this church. Um, and so St. Peter's Basilica is said to be in this exact spot where uh, Peter the Rock ascended to heaven. And so they built that in the year 69. And then 1450 years later or so, St. Peter's Cathedral, which is, which is this solar uh, architectural monument, was built in the same place. But there are historical accounts that when Peter ascended, or was when his life ended, it was done between two pyramids. And there's actually some ancient texts that talk about these two pyramids. And basically they would say there was two small pyramids in this courtyard, but this was a different courtyard before before Rome and, and uh, St. Peter's Cathedral was built. But these two pyramids would have been flanking this courtyard. And the point is, is that you have two Egyptian symbols. You have the Egyptian pyramid, which is the symbol of as above, so below, which is a hermetic principle of the Egyptians, originally called Thoth. Hermes is the name for, Greek name for Thoth. And the other one is the obelisk, which is in the middle here, which is actually, as the sun moves, 
across the sky and rises each day, it makes a shadow. Just this is like a needle. It stands straight up in the air and it makes, you know, a shadow on the ground. And these shadows um, are uh, the sundial. They essentially tell you what day of the year it is um, and when the equinoxes are, the days of equal night, 12 hours of daylight, 12 hours of sunshine. All right, so this is just a really, really basic drawing of St. Peter's Cathedral in Rome. And what I'm really trying to show here, and this is going to be very, you know, very crude, but basically have these colonnades on two sides um, and then the big the big building right here where the Pope usually addresses the public he stands here and talks and these are all columns colonnades huge beautiful massive columns um, like so and this structure was designed and built by Bernini in the 15th century and the reason why I'm showing you this is is that it's the largest sundial in the world. And you can go see my other videos, um, the Vatican, the largest sundial in the world, and the Vatican pineal gland uh, solar worship video. But the point is, is that this is an Egyptian obelisk right in the middle of this, this uh, circle, which they call a square, St. Peter's Square. But the point is, is that uh, the key row, this symbol adopted by Constantine, is painted actually on the ground basically and is these solar alignments um, it's said to be the initials of Christ and in the Greek alphabet it actually is but Constantine uh, was really talking about solar alignments and he said he saw a cross in the sky but it, it's all metaphor like most of the scriptures are all metaphor the point here is is that this whole building is aligned by Bernini to solar alignments and Christians actually everyone but Christians especially should know this because it's these solar alignments that are the astronomical stories of all of our biblical stories people don't want to believe this but um, the ancient hermetic principles of Egypt which Rome stole and and adopted and, and basically corrupted they corrupted hermetic principles of the celestial bodies of the sun and the moon and the planets and how they move throughout the cosmos and how that those movements affect mankind and so what they did was they built this Bernini was hired to build this structure um, and they just didn't tell anybody that it's basically a, a solar structure and that the Vatican and the Jesuits um, and Catholicism and all of its spin-offs have been worshiping the sun since day one their their entire inception was basically a a stolen Egyptian religion that they've adopted for themselves and so the point is is that this uh, this road right here that runs right through it is aligned due east east and west the Sun rises on on uh, on in the in the autumn I'm sorry in the spring equinox over here on March 20th and then throughout the year it goes through right ascension and slowly moves over here to the to here basically to these points this is the spring equinox over here March 20th and this is September 20th the fall equinox and the Sun just goes through right ascension each day and then hits the other equinox and then starts to move back And you can actually look at photos of the Vatican from the sky and you can see this. There's, there's no coincidence. It was done on purpose and deliberately uh, by Bernini, uh, commissioned by the Pope, and for a specific reason.